Lotar Nunu. We're off for a little family village walk this afternoon. We have Eden the dog, we have Story the baby. It's quite a nice temperature outside. I did have to take my jumper off almost immediately though. It felt chillier in the house. I am surprised at how warm it is still. I thought it would have cooled off by now, being mid-October. But it's pleasantly, pleasantly good weather. And I hope it stays this way for a little bit longer. The plants are definitely feeling the different weather. These vines were green for most of the summer. Now they're going fall colours. We were wondering what the Douro Valley must look like at this time of year with all the vineyards over in the mountains going orange. We checked some pictures on Instagram and it wasn't as impressive as we thought it was going to be. So we didn't make a special trip up there to see them. I think perhaps we missed the day when they went perfectly orange, Sash. Because they looked a bit brown, didn't they? Yeah, it might not have even happened yet. Maybe. <laughs> Hi big girl and your big girl pram. You've got <laughs> apple biscuit in your left hand. There's all the cat in your right. Mm. What big girl you are. This time last year, it came up on my Facebook memories a little reminder thing this morning. I put a picture up this day last year. I was 38 weeks pregnant and we were sitting down the bottom of the garden by the bread oven and I'm wearing a big fleece. <laughs> so it must have been much cooler this time last year. And no story. It seems crazy to think that just that short space of time, less than a year, <laughs> yeah, Story feels like she's been here forever <laughs> already. Yeah, you weren't even here last year. <laughs> well, not in person anyway. This is the current view. You can see one little vine there has gone orange. We're actually going to head up to the church that makes all the bell noises. Because Sasha says there's a nice view up there. There is. I don't think I've ever walked up there. Yeah, I went up there when Mum was here. I've only ever driven past it. Yeah. Eden keeps stopping in her tracks. I think she's already fed up with this walk and wants to go home. She's always like this now. We've been looking up the property prices here in Portugal for a while now and we're not in a position to buy anything just yet but even if you had a hundred thousand pounds to spend on a property you can get something really good. If you were to try and spend that in the UK you would get nothing. Perhaps a studio flat in a horrible location. So it has made us think about a future here. Quite a steep car park, isn't it? Yeah. This place is actually quite big. I thought it was a small church. So if you've ever wondered where those church bell noises are coming from, this is it. There's a cemetery just over here. I actually saw this cemetery on Google Maps when I first started researching this area. It's weird now to be here standing here in person. Over a year later, this being our home and all. Come on, Eden. We're now walking around the back of the church to see what else is up here. One observation I can make about here in central Portugal versus where we were down in the Silver Coast is there are definitely more flies here. It must be because of the farming. And now that I've experienced living in the two places, I can say for certain, yes, there are less flies down there by the beach. I think Sash might be right about these vineyards. This leaf here is quite a deep red. The rest haven't really changed much. So I'm going to keep my eye on the Instagram pages of the Douro and see if it gets like that, fully red. That would be amazing. I thought I'd have a quick look inside the cemetery. See what Portuguese cemetery looks like. These big structures over here, they remind me of the Philippines. I think you call them mausoleums, don't you? When you have the big structures for multiple graves. A lot of the gravestones have pictures on them. That's different. It's very really interesting. It's very different from the UK. There are people here paying their respects, so I don't want to film too much. I don't want to be disrespectful. This is a massive car park, isn't it? It's a funeral every weekend. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, look at the size of it. Mm. Hello. <laughs> You're very good at doing that now, aren't you? Your own little peekaboo. Boop. Yeah, good girl. Hey Story, we're trying to work out where your house is in relation to this oh, viewpoint. Yeah. Home sweet home. It looks like Story's about to go to sleep. It's dinner time, Story. Not She's sleep time. She's her biscuit. Oh, are you mm, cheeky? Cheeky smile. <laughs> 
we are back from the walk and I'm just in Story's room with Story. Story's having some playtime before bed, getting everything out of her toy box. We've been doing some reading. Oh, you want to read that one next? Okay. Zoe's actually already had her dinner and she's eaten it all. She had quite a big portion and that's why she doesn't have a t-shirt on because she got a bit mucky. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Dad, what's happening to the music? <laughs> She was, yeah. Are you going to hey, story. Do you want to say night night to Papua? Oh. <laughs> right. Say bye, bye. Everyone. Bye. Bye. Jay is still having a chat with his mum on Skype, and I've come out to the kitchen. Story has been put down to sleep now, and I am starting on dinner. I'm doing a new recipe tonight. I am doing. Harissa spiced cauliflower steaks, although my cauliflower didn't really cut properly, so it's more like a big dish of cauliflower florets. So it hasn't really kept a steak like shape, it's supposed to be like that, but it all just crumbled. It will still be delicious though, I'm sure, because I love roasted cauliflower, so <laughs> let's do this. Dinner is still cooking. Jay is still talking to his mum and I just thought I'd step outside, get the last bit of light and listen to the church bells. Story has been in bed for nearly an hour and she hasn't woken up yet so that is a good sign. And she went down without a noise either. <laughs> Sometimes she plays up a little bit when we first put her down. But tonight, no, nope, straight asleep. So fingers crossed for a good night with a story. Here is a dinner update. Right, this is the recipe that I'm following. And I've got the harissa paste, which I found in a continent store in Queenborough. Can't get it in our little shop, but harissa is a Moroccan, very spicy paste. That's the recipe. You can pause it if you want to read it for longer. <laughs> and it is from the vegan mag. So this is the little accompaniment that's going with the cauliflower and it's just some chickpeas and raisins at the moment. The cauliflower is sizzling away in there. And I've got a thing of quinoa which is almost done. And then the quinoa and the chickpeas and raisins will all be mixed together with this little bowl of olive oil, cumin, and lemon juice. <laughs> we also thought we might watch a film tonight as well, so I have prepared some movie snacks. Sorry about the super orange lighting, but these are some lime and paprika sunflower seeds that I'm gonna roast along with some cumin and chili, salt and pepper, chickpeas that I'm also gonna roast. We've got some dark chocolate in the fridge as well, so we might crack that open. <laughs> in fact, I might just do that right now. I'm not really gonna eat the chocolate now, but I did wanna say we found this when we were in Foz. It is the best chocolate we have found in the whole country, and it's a German chocolate, I think, 85% organic dark chocolate and it is the sweetest mm. dark chocolate we've ever had. Mm. It's just amazing isn't it Sash? It's got yeah. a completely different type of flavour. I don't think it's sweet mm. though. Oh, no, it's not sweet. It's creamy. Yeah, okay, creamy. It's delightful yeah. and creamy. <laughs> it's called Vivani. Vivani. This is not an advert. <laughs> but buy it. <laughs> yeah, if, if you do find this chocolate somewhere, try it out. I found sometimes that 85% chocolates can be a bit too bitter, but this one is spot on. During my baby proofing scenario, I put the TV in a new place today and it's linked via HDMI, as you can see, to my laptop. 
and we are finally going to make use of the TV and watch a film on a big screen. This room has slowly been evolving in shape over the last few days and we still haven't quite got it right but Sasha's stand-up desk has not been used yet. We'll sort that out soon and I'm going to choose a programme. It takes us absolutely ages to choose films so I think what we're going to do instead is watch the last episode of Black Mirror which is what the series we've been watching recently and it's about an hour and 25 minutes long so that's pretty much a film the way I see it. And dinner is served. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Looks like a bit of a mess, but the cauliflower's turned out really well. It is very spicy and delicious. And then I've just put some of the roasted sunflower seeds on top of the spinach, which are also delicious. <laughs> and I'm super hungry, so I'm looking forward to this. I've just put on some little candles and it is feeling quite cozy in here tonight. It is feeling like a nice little home again after being away. These are Story's little mementos to go in her memory box that I haven't wrote on them yet though. That little shell from Foz. Alright, and we are sitting down to eat. I've made us a cheeky white port and tonic. It is very much a summer drink but we have some white port to use up before we go back into the more wintry red port. <laughs> this is quite a late dinner for us. We normally would have eaten about an hour and a half ago at least. Jay's having some technical issues over there, trying to hook up the laptop to the TV. Eden is down here next to me, she's had her dinner. <laughs> and I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today. Hope you've all had a good day and you've enjoyed spending some time with us today. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button for us please and don't forget you can check the links here to find out how you can become an eight miler to watch our sixth vlog of the week that we put up on the weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye.